Hey people, YouTube tubers, this is Shining Star reading you another one of my poems. This one is called The Promise of Salvation. Um, a lot of it is kind of abstract and um, you might not get it right away, but you just have to listen to it a million times and rate five stars each time and subscribe. Okay. Where are all my people? And I don't mean on the appearance level. I'm talking about spiritual and intellectual. Not to mention the people on my same mental. I'm trying to find someone I can relate to. A person in the same hemisphere. I listen to music and they seem to be there. But in different countries or states. Where do they come from? I'm looking for the heavy hitters, the ones who can actually think. Millions of people I see and none of them can relate to anything different than hate. What peace and individuality need to relate to people who know the knowing is coming too slow. Where are my enlightened fellows? Not the ones who buy into this generation, the ones who speak with dignity. I need someone that can see through this transparency. It's apparent this world is losing gravity, a solid ground on which to build upon. We are stuck in the same surround sound, surrounded by little children and underdeveloped minds, but a new day is coming, I hope. I'm no a lot I know I'm not alone, but where are my people? There's no one left but secondhand princesses needing to learn where the switch is to turn on their emotions. People not caring about one another, forgiveness becoming a figment of one's imagination. Without feelings, I must ask, how did you become a part of this planet? Or are these people just laying dormant in my mind? I need to find these gems in the dirt so I can clean them off. Maybe then will these devilish temptation high times come to an end. Forget about enemies, we need friends, but are they afraid of becoming someone else's pretense? Natural selection of the fittest, I have witnessed people turning on even their blood, so if you can't trust yourself, how can you become part of a whole? Where are my people? The ones who don't care what others say, those positively inclined individuals, the ones who see we're all divine, the good and the evil. Because if you can't change yourself, you're not changing anyone else, and I want to find those genuinely beautiful people. So I look to the art, the weirder they are, the more they have to say, cause they're not trying to fit into anyone's mold, they're creating their own. Don't care if any get sold, expressions turn to gold when I see those secretive innuendos. Sensational stimulations come from those who care with every single morsel of hair. And I'm beginning to see the light. Are you? Where are my people? Indigenous to America, but not the soil that's trivial. I'm talking about the idea of freedom. Our national anthem stands for nothing. The fact that it was built off blood and tears. Not saying that doesn't mean anything, but here's the dilemma. They tell us we're free, but the truth is if we really were, we wouldn't have to be told. And this tyrannous American pride needs to be vetoed. No means to offend, but without offense I wouldn't be able to say this. So where are my people? The unagreeable, not out of hate or greed, though, one of which comes from knowledge and appreciation of the self. Self-worth is the beginning, and once you see the beauty, you'll never go back. Aside from dealing with all these people who lack the skill to differentiate heaven from hell, manipulation from stimulation, solid from singular decision, think about what I mean, and think about what you say, and maybe one day I won't have to search for you anymore. Are you home? Is your brain in your dome the control center? Is sending signals from your soul? Just remember the cold can become warmth. All you have to do is stop pretending. And the light, the good, the promise will come to you. Thank you.